We're going thrift store shopping. Going to flashbacks and reruns. So uh, we'll see what we can find in here. We got JD and Mama with us today, so we might find some cool stuff. I'll let you know. Going to the Goodwill, thrift store number two. Well, we are thrift stopping again, still. Back of the car is getting full uh found some cool stuff i'll show you after a while on to our third and fourth big day shopping see you in a little while okay guys here's my finds that i found today look at my tables are these not the coolest tables I got these tables for $50 at a consignment shop. They are absolutely amazing, and they're going to look amazing in my bedroom. So, uh, I wanted to video those in the back of the car before I got them out. Because I didn't know where in the house I could put them to video them. So, I will show you what else I found in just a few minutes. I'm back. Back from shopping. Spins day Wednesday. You know, I've been out with mom, the thrift store shopping today. I think that's what Wednesdays are going to become thrift store shopping, spins day Wednesdays. But we have a good time. And uh, shoot, let me straighten this phone up a little bit. <clears throat> Didn't help much. Oh, well. Well, I found some bargains today. We went to. Three different stores. We went to one in uh, Churchill, Tennessee. It's uh, near where we live. It's called Flashbacks and Reruns. And uh, used to go there a lot. And uh, not been in a long time. We went and they've redone the whole store. It's all different. But uh, found some really cool stuff today. We'll show you what I found. Uh, I know y'all going to laugh. But I did it again. But I have decided what I'm going to do. I'm, I've got an idea. I've come up with an idea today. It came to me while I was out shopping. Okay. I have saved the Barbies. I have decided when I find these Barbies in bags and stuff at these thrift stores, I'm going to start buying them and I'm going to make clothes for them. And then at Christmas time, I'm going to donate them to some shelter to give to children. Or I'll just uh, make my own boxes up and take them somewhere and uh, give these Barbies out to people that are less fortunate because people are always looking for uh, donations. Cause, and I work for a company and uh, work for Food City and we do the Santa train and they're always looking for nice toys. So I'm going to start buying the Barbies and uh, dress them up in really pretty clothes that I make. Fix their hairs and uh, make Barbies to give out at Christmas time as donations. And I got this bag today, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight Barbies in here. Let's open them up. And I got this for four dollars and seventy-four cents, less than five dollars. Now, I believe she might be a dollar store Barbie. She a little pale. But, uh, this is a Rapunzel Barbie. Um, she poor little girls. They heads all squished in. But, uh, oh, she talks. Well, her batteries is run down. Big old gold earrings. Wah, wah, but she sings or something. 
Uh, I've got Ariel. The Little Mermaid. I'll make her a mermaid tail. You watch and see. She, I'm not sure who she's supposed to be. She's some big scary woman. She kind of look a little like a mine. Oh, and this one's got some big old earrings on too. She got cowboy boot earrings on. Yeehaw. <laughs> that must be Sullivan County, Barbie. <laughs> that was me. Sullivan County's where I live. Uh, but yeah, I got all those for four dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh, this is really cool. You know, I'm a costumer, so when I'm out shopping, if I find a costume, I buy them. Well, uh, I got this for $6.74. It is a <clears throat> Thing 1 costume. Is that not the coolest? Ha, ha, ha. So, uh, and I believe, no, it's store-bought. I started to say someone had made this, but it's a store-bought. It could be like a, a pajama onesie. But for less than $10, you can't buy a costume like this for less than $10. So, I got that for $6.74. Put it over there. <laughs> uh... And you know how I am about little bags of stuff. Well, I got this too. This is a whole set of kitchen knives. But they're really cool because there's all the different knives. And uh, I got this whole bag of knives and I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven knives for $6.24. But the cool thing is, I have to get it kind of close. All of the blades are printed. They have like checkerboard or gingham on them. And if you know me and know how much I love Wizard of Oz, I love gingham. We have gingham in every color. Oh, that must be a tomato knife. It's got tomatoes on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm putting it in wrong. But they all have these little covers on them. Oh, and I just dropped it on my toe. Thank God it had a cover or I'd have cut my toe off right here on the YouTube. But they're really cool. They're Tomodachi. Tomodachi. I don't know. I don't speak that language. I don't speak. I think it's Japanese, maybe. But I got those for $6. You can't beat it. Plus, I love knives. And I got this, too. This is old. This is old, old. So you can tell it's old because of the box, but it says... Northampton Cutlery Company. But it's still got its original box. But everything has fallen out of the box. But it is a knife, the carver, and the fork. And the fork has like a little uh, stand on it. I guess that's a stand. I'm not real sure what that's for. But it's all three. And the knife, it's got the, I love that sound, wow. for cutting meat. But they have like a bone handle on them. They're really cool. They got silver ends on them. But that's really cool. I thought it was a really neat find. So I bought that. And I got this for... Oh. I want to say he had to take the whole tag off of this. I think this was $6 too for this. And then, like I said, you know how I like little bags of junk. I found, I swear I thought I had another bag. 
maybe not. But I found this whole, I love, I love scissors. I have, hi, my name is Jimmy James, and I have an addiction to scissors. I do. I love scissors. I buy scissors all the time. Because I like to cut. I like to cut fabrics and stuff. Ooh, there's two rhinestone crystal beads up in there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can you see them? They're real, like, cut glass beads. Well, that's a find I didn't expect. But I got all these little cute little, cute little scissors. JD get a hold of these. He'd cut everything in the house. But they're all these little cute little, just little cute little kid scissors and stuff. This is a little pair of hair scissors. And cut some Barbie hair up with them. But I got these for... How much did I get these for? Uh, these were $2.74, I think. No, these were $3.74. The scissors were $3.74. And then I got these two cookie cutters. These are old antique cookie cutters. And I know it's all weather well, biscuit cutters is what they are. But uh, they have a wooden handle on them. Little biscuit cutters for cutting your biscuits. This one's not uh, got a little wooden handle, but it's still good. You could probably make donuts out of them. No, nope, too big. But little biscuits to make little tiny biscuits like for, uh, this would be good for catering. But uh, that's a good biscuit size, so wouldn't handle it all. And I got those for two seventy four. dollars Can you beat it? No, you can't. So that's what we got at Flashbacks and Reruns. I have to watch because I call it something else. But I'm not going to tell you what I call it because it's not nice. But I love the store. But it's down in Churchill. It's in a little shopping center behind the Pals. If you want to go. It's off of uh, 11W going down towards Rogersville and all that way. But I don't check them out. So we left there. We come back. And uh, we went to Goodwill. And uh, I guess that would be the Churchill. Goodwill. I guess that's what they call it. Hawkins County-ish. But they had hats for $2. I know. Look like an Alabama fan all of a sudden, don't I? With my little hound check hat on. But this is a... I mean, this is an expensive men's hat, I guess. Copas Headwear of New York. But it was a large. And you don't hardly find men's large hats. I got this for two dollars, two dollar and fourteen cents. And they also had these beautiful red hat lady hats. Isn't that pretty? Carmen is going to be a red hat lady. She's about to be old enough to be a red hat lady. Probably wear it that way. Oh, I did have it on backwards. That's the way you wear it right there. Now, all right now. Miss Carmen in the house. She says, I'm ready for the meeting. Give me some tea and some corn. Want some corn? You want some corn, children? <laughs> and I found another big old red hat. All right. Two dollars. Two dollars for these hats. That's what it looks like in the back. And my mama said, what you gonna do with them? And I said, I don't know. You can tell somebody has wore this one. Because it's got wore a hat pin that's been to hold it up on top of their head. What? And it smells like little old lady. You know that perfume, little old lady. It smells like funeral home and nursing home mixed together. Which is usually Gina, Tay, and P. <laughs> it smells like roses and sweat, usually. Then I found bags of stuff, trinkets and treasures of stuff. This bag was a dollar sixty-seven, and it's got a little bag of pearls and danglies. And this one, this one says three. Look, three ninety-nine on the package. Up there in the corner, 
Sweet. $3.99. Brand new package. And it's a back, uh, pack of beads. There's two of those in there. So that was $6 right there. No. That's $8 for those two. And I got this whole bag for $1.67. And here's a... Shoot, now this bag smells like old lady. Woo! This one smells like... Smells like old lady perfume, like roses and Christmas dinner. But this is a bag with a stretchy cord elastic for making bracelets. And it's got a lot of little beads in it, letter beads and that kind of thing. Shoo, this bag really smells like a lady, an old lady. And then there's another little tube full of beads. $3.99 on that, so that's $12. $12 worth of beads right there. And this roll of uh, stretchy cord was probably a couple dollars. So that's probably about $15 worth of stuff in this little bag at the Goodwill for $1.67. So, and I never know what I'm going to need. I accentuate and accessorize. Now my hand smells like that little old lady. But I put uh, embellishments and accessorize and all that on my costumes when I make them. So, and here's another bag that I got for $1.97. And it's got hem tape. Not her tape, hem tape. It's got two rolls of uh, Coats thread, which is expensive as snot at the Hobby Lobbies. I mean, we're talking like expensive. Oh, no. Three rolls of coats quilting thread. Quilting thread. So that makes it even more expensive. And here is uh, two and a half yards of elastic. Here's some more uh, seam binding tape. Here is two sewing needles to go with uh, quilting needles. Quilting needles to go with that quilting thread. Expensive needles. What's this? Oh, that's some old Velcro. Everybody needs some Velcro. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's some more thread. Not very much. But I like spools. I just like spools that thread come off of. Oh, there's some buttons and another a roll of dark brown thread. This thread's expensive threads. And here is a here is a like a turquoise color thread. And it's on a wooden spool, so that means it's old thread. So it's probably rotten. But still and a symbol. Oh, wrong finger. Didn't mean to put that on the finger. <laughs> uh, but it's a thimble. Really didn't mean to put it on that finger. I just stuck it on what finger was there. And then this is a white pencil for marking when you're sewing onto fabric so that you can, uh, but you, what you, I lick it. I don't care. I lick it and it makes it like paint and then you can mark places where you need to pin and sew and stuff. If you sew, you know what that's for. But I got all that stuff right there for a dollar ninety-seven, and there is more. There's probably another fifteen, twenty dollars worth of threads, elastic pins, and, or needles, and uh, elastics, and stuff like that. And that pencil, that pencil is probably about four dollars. But I got that for a dollar ninety-seven. About this yardstick. Woo! Is that not cool? It's a yardstick. That is bendy, so it won't break so easy. But I got this for a dollar sixty-seven. How about you could spank somebody with that for being bad? But I thought that was pretty cool because you don't find yardsticks a whole lot. And then I bought this at the Goodwills. Big old tackle box. It's a Rebel tackle box, but I got it for. Three dollars and ninety-seven cents. It don't smell like old lady. It don't even smell like old man. But it opens up. It's got lots of compartments for stuff and down in there. These are good if you're a crafter. All that junk I just bought in them little baggies. 
go and put them in these little compartments. And then when you're like crafting and you want to go somewhere and you're going on a trip and you think, I might want to craft while I'm relaxing. Take your tote full of crafting stuff and you can sew, you can make necklaces, jewelry, whatever you want to. Or if you are uh, need somewhere to carry your makeup, these make great makeup kits because you can, these compartments are big enough for like lip glosses and uh, eyeliners and your makeup palettes will fit in it. And it gives you just plenty of room for all your makeups. So there you go. And if you're starting out on in theater, get you one of these and make your own makeup kit up. Because I used to tell the kids all the time when I was doing theater to buy a tackle box. Buy your tackle box. And you can put like baby wipes in the bottom. And it's just real cool. That's a good way to start your makeup kit. Ha <laughs> ha. But I got that for four dollars. Can't beat it. I look for the most bizarre stuff when I'm out shopping. Not really bizarre, but I just find really bizarre stuff. I mean, look, I bought sewing stuff, cookie cutters, yardstick, and a tackle box. Really? So then we left there and we went over to uh, a shop. It's called Frontier Health. Frontier Health Thrift Store. Frontier Health Thrift Store. And it is at 1145 Eastman Road. If you're in Kingsport. So go and check them out. I just happen to have a little thing I'm going to tell you about. But when I went there today, I found some things. I found, if you know me, I like to cook. And I'm going to start doing more cooking on the videos. I found this. It's called Julia Childs and More Company Cookbook. It's huge. It's a huge cookbook. It's got... Let's see. Let me find out how many. It's got 250 pages in it. All kinds of really cool recipes. And they're color pictures of the recipes. And I got this cookbook for 50 cents. 50 cents for Julia Childs. And she's going to make the chicken today. Today, children, we're going to make the chicken. Okay, that's about as good as impressing a Julia Childs as I can do. But... I can't wait to start looking at this and find some good recipes. Oh, and I got a recipe for chicken and dumplings that I'm going to do. They're like my family recipe that, like, my Aunt uh, Juanita makes the best chicken and dumplings. Every reunion, she'll, I'll say, please tell Juanita to make chicken and dumplings. Well, she does. Well, she has given me the recipe. And I'm going to make them. And y'all going to get to know how to make these delicious dumplings. And your life will be changed forever. So that's probably going to be one of the next videos. Because I'm craving me some chicken and dumplings. But I got that cookbook for 50 cents. And then. Oh. I found some more dangle dangles. I found two bags of rhinestones. I'm trying to get them to shine and shimmer. I got this new light that goes on my phone, and I really like it. Except it's a little bright. But some rhinestones that, uh, I got these for 50 cents a piece. They're usually about mm, two forty nine dollars each, and I got them for 50 cents a piece. Not a bad deal. I'll put those in my tackle box. And then I found... I know these aren't shot glasses. I think these are scotch glasses. But I found a set of three of these glasses. And they have a little letter. Can you see it? The letter J on them. I was like, oh, those have a letter J on them. They're going to be mine for Jimmy James. So I got three of these glasses for 50 cents a piece. I mean, I'm not a big drinker. I, and when I do drink, I don't drink scotch. I like to have a little fruity drink once in a while. I like something fruity tooty. For wine cooler occasionally. Because I'm not, I don't like beer. I don't like, ugh, I don't like none of that. But I do like jello shots. And I will show you how to make jello shots one day. But see, I got three of them. 
I make really good yellow socks. But, uh, I thought these were just so cool. Four fifty cents each. And I think that's all I bought today. And my tables, which I will show you in a minute, because they're they were too big to put like here. So I videoed them in the back of the car and I will show you those. Uh or I've sh I'll sh probably show them before this. I'll sh give you a little sh see of them before I put this on because I'm probably going to end this video. But uh, that's all my stuff that I bought today. Oh, oh, oh. I was what I was going to talk about. Uh, the Frontier Health Place that I was talking about. My hair look like crap right now. I just realized what I look like. Uh, they're having on June the 7th and 8th in Kingsport. It is called the Thrift the Thrift Crawl, and uh, it's the first annual Thrift Crawl in Kingsport with discounts and refreshments. Uh, the stores that are participating are Frontier Health Thrift Store at eleven forty five Eastman Road, and if you go by there that day, those two days, you get twenty percent off everything. And uh, there's going to be, Kilgore's Corner will be in the parking lot. I don't know what that is. There was a shop there. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, and the Baby Boutique, which is uh, at 1127 North Eastman Road. I think it's in the same shopping center as the thrift store. But you get 10% off everything that day. And uh, Acre Merchandise Depot, which is at 2817 North John B. Dennis Highway. You get 20% off of everything there. And in Bloomingdale, at 3108 Bloomingdale Road, they're going to have refreshments and a variety of vendors that are going to have sales. And it's going at the Vintage Cowgirl Antique Mall. So go check them out. I'm going to go check them out because I just found out about them today with this. Um, and then at 2816 is the back and forth thrift store. Didn't know about them either. We're going to be checking them out. They're going to be doing 10% off everything with refreshments. And then at 3006 North John B. Dennis Highway, 10% off any purchase and giveaways and light refreshments at Just Stuff. So, there are six different locations for the 7th and 8th. So, uh, go check them out. I'll take a picture of this and put this on uh, the end of the video for you. And I'll also add this to um, Carmen's Closet on Facebook so you can go and check it out. So, go check these people out. More local businesses. Go support local people. That We've got to support local people starting businesses and doing this. And thrifting is where you go. I mean... You get this stuff at pennies on what it would cost you if you went to the big stores and have to tromp around in them for hours to try to find what you want. I hate that. And I'll tell you what, I, even more than I hate. I like self-check. I know that's crazy, and it says it takes people's jobs. I do not feel that way. Because that person can be back there stocking and helping somebody on the floor and not have to be up front ringing my stuff up and I would rather have help back there when I need help than to have somebody standing there ringing my stuff up when I'm perfectly capable of doing it myself. So no, it's not taking nobody's job. But I do not like this new thing they have of pushing a buggy around and scanning your stuff in the middle of an aisle and then say, okay, how do you want to pay for this? Well, then you have to have a credit card or a debit card, and you pay for your stuff. And then they say, do you want uh, a email receipt or a cell phone receipt? Or a text message receipt? Well, if you happen to have left your phone at home, or you're with someone who forgets their cell phone, and they don't have their cell phone with them, they almost think you're a criminal. And it don't matter that you're with somebody else that has a receipt for the stuff they just bought. They still look at you like you're a criminal. 
So the big stores that looks like prisons anyway, because they don't have no windows and it's just a big old concrete boxes. <sighs> really? If I had already paid for mine and you scanned mine and it was in the same buggy, do you think the 70-year-old woman was stealing that 15-pound bag of dog food? No. So, support your local businesses. Shop there. Just go out and shop at thrift stores. You'll find stuff. Goodwills. Goodwill is a really good organization. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I have got involved with the Goodwill organization in the last few weeks, and it's run by really great people who are really all about their employees, and they really it really provides jobs for people who need them and training. So support Goodwills. I don't care. If you don't like that, I don't care. But uh, support your local businesses and uh, little hometown people. Uh, that's how I feel about it. I want to be a little hometown business owner, but I just haven't got to the point yet. But I will. I will. I will have my own one day. You can tell I'm buying that merchandise now. <laughs> Gotta do something with it one of these days. But go and subscribe. Tell all your friends. I'm going to try to go live. I just found out how today. I didn't know I couldn't do it with my phone. So I found out I had to do it with a computer. But I have a computer. And I'm going to go live probably sometime this weekend. Um, I'm going to try to uh, do a cooking video this weekend. So look for it. But until next time. This is Jimmy James. On Spins Day Wednesday. Where Jimmy James likes to go out and spend a little money, some little therapy with his mom. She found some good bargains today, too. She She's collecting cookie jars, and she found some cookie jars. She's gone cookie jar crazy. But they're cute cookie jars. But she found some good bargains today, too. So, um, until next time, know that Jimmy James wants to be your friend. He's everybody's friend. And until next time, I'm out, and I will see you all later. Mwah.